Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's June 28th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and you can see we did get follow through buying today. Let me zoom in here a bit. You can see we got the follow through buying today. We closed off the highs, but even in that after hours here, we're continuing to somewhat push higher here. Um, Today was kind of odd because it looked like we were going to sell off again today and then the thing rallied late, uh, closed near the highs here. So we may not, we may get a correction back here. We could retest these highs again. We'll just have to see what the what the market brings. It looks like its prices are weakly trying to go higher here. It's, it's not a lot of strength to this, to this day. It looks fairly bullish there, but it's not really when you see the daily chart. The price is really chopped around and we just happen to have a late afternoon rally. Uh, maybe that means something, maybe it doesn't. Uh, we'll have to see, but uh, there it is on the daily chart. So let's flip over to the uh, 2000 tick intraday chart, and we'll take a look at the trades. Not a lot of trades today, not a very good trading day, uh, but let's take a look at it, and we'll go through the trades there are, and we'll wrap this day up. And here's a look at our 2000 tick chart. You can see we, uh, we were sideways, dropped down pretty much a measured move, a little bit further. Kind of went into a separate, looked like we were going to go into a separate range here. And uh, we broke out, came back and tested it a few times before we went higher. And there's clearly two measured legs up. And then we had a huge sell-off. There's actually three legs in that sell-off. And then we just were chopping sideways again, looking like we may close near the lows until right at the last minute. You can see... Um, Right around 3 o'clock, all of a sudden the market starts rallying and uh, this thing traded straight up into the close. So, uh, interesting day. Again, not a lot of trades here, but let's, uh, let's zoom in and go through what I see here today. Um, 7 o'clock came back over here. Uh, there just wasn't anything until... I, mean, I don't see anything I would trade here. Uh, then we bounce. This is just so weak. I don't see anything here that you'd want to. There's just no. There's no longs really till maybe right here. Notice you get a new high. It's higher than that one. You get a first entry, second entry, second entry long. Uh, we came from the high to the low, went back to the midline, back to the low, went a little higher this time, made a higher low. And then made another higher low. So there's a second entry long right there when prices break above this bar right here. But there's also a failed second entry when uh, prices break above this bar. Because notice the new low, first entry, second entry. And it, it breaks lower and ticks higher immediately. And takes back up, runs back up and tests the upper side again. No real setup up here. Just keeps kind of chopping around, drops down, chops again. Now notice we looks like we have what looks like a channel here. We did get a break, and we made this two bar match and high. So you could treat that like a new high. Really bearish bar. Um, you may go short there. It, 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 we just came off the high, so the odds are we're probably going the lows. The only problem we're right in the middle line, and you can see we're kind of working both sides of it. Uh, again, you're expecting prices to probably come to the lows, so maybe you take that trade. Uh, it is risky, but maybe you take it understanding what's going on there. Um, and then, if you notice too, then you get another lower high right here and another bearish bar. Uh, again, not much room to scalp out, but if you're expecting prices to come down here. So maybe another leg down, and, and that's exactly what happens. And it bounces, no trade there. It does bounce at the midline here. But again, um, I don't recommend that trade, especially right into those highs right across there. And it runs higher. Uh, comes back, but there's no real uh, setup there that you could go long or anything. Uh, plus, we just broke out of this pink channel, so you're expecting a failure. Uh, so when it breaks higher here and fails and turns down and on the engulfing bar, I like going short there. Just to try to ride it back to the to the EMA, and uh, from there your next target will be the midline and then the lows. 
and it doesn't hang around here very long and it reverses. I notice what happens is it's acting as resistance here and then it pushes through, pulls back and tests it. Normally one test wouldn't be enough, but this is a first entry, second entry. So there's a failure there and you would expect prices to, if they do break out here, even temporarily, they may try to make a new high on this channel. So there's reason to, to think prices could move up, uh, but it's, it's risky because generally you want to be looking to get short. So maybe you take that trade. Uh, you could look at it as a failed second entry short. Runs on up again. I don't see anything here. We get our measured move and we actually go further than that. And again, I just don't see anything I, I like here until you get a first entry, second entry that fails. So if prices break lower, we're probably going lower, uh, which we do. And then they bounce again here. And you actually get another second entry right there. But notice what happens here. Uh, price, you got a new low and you get a first entry. Technically, um, that two bar matching low, you, that's like a double bottom. You can count it as a new low or not. So it's a first entry. And then I would say this is a second entry right here. And there's two legs in this second leg. Up. So uh, this actually breaks higher and turns down. I don't know if I want to go short way down here. Uh, but you may take that. On the engulfing bar when it comes past here. Um, so that's a possibility. I'll mark it green. And of course we come down here. We get a close outside new low. And then we're going higher. But no setup there. That's an inside bar. Uh, comes back. That's fairly bearish. Makes a double top fairly bearish. You get a lower high here. But not much room back to the EMA. And you got to be a little bit concerned. It is right in the middle of the range. And we uh, did... Uh, Actually, that's not the middle of the range. That's the upper part of the range. So uh, you're still looking for prices to fail on the breakout up here. So maybe you take that trade. Uh, you do get a lower high here. I don't think that's anything I'd want to trade. And then it just reverses. And so, uh, and that was after all this down was after the measured move. So. You think uh, maybe they're going, maybe they're seeing something I don't hear. I don't see any reason to go long there, and I don't see another high or low or anything. We're just chopping along here. Uh, there's no real longs or shorts here, and it does break out and run higher. Uh, looks like you get a close outside and then you high, but it's so close. I'd wait on something better, and then you get a lower high here. Actually, this is a weak. We're continuing to trade down weekly. Uh, back over to the trend channel line, and you get a setup right here. It's a second entry short. It's not ideal. It, it looks a little congested. Uh, it's right at the midline, but you're looking for prices to come back uh, and test this down here, So especially after that measured leg up. So maybe you take that trade. I don't know. It just depends on how you see it. So, um, I did mark it green, but I don't know if I like it or not. The better second entry is down here. You're running up. You get a break. You try to make a new high, and you can turn down right off the trend line again on a second entry. Comes back down. Doesn't quite make a low, and we get a break. And you get a first entry, second entry. This one is tempting. You could call that a triple test. It is a second entry. It's a really big bar, though. So it's like 17 ticks. Um, I didn't mark it, but you could. Uh, there's reasons to really like that one. So uh, maybe you take it. And of course, then you get two legs up and a second entry short. But I don't like going short here because the green channel may be in play. Notice we bounce there again. We run up. And it looks like we get an overshoot, which leads to a break. But there's a trap right here. Notice you get a first entry and then a second entry. It fails. If it breaks below there, because really, you are you got back in this channel, so this might be like another fake failed breakout. It's definitely a failed second entry long. So that's probably going to trap some people. So just to trade the trap. And it doesn't get anything more than that. A nice scalp on the trap. Um, it does bounce and go higher. But again, 
this is more like a midline and your range is just expanded now so I don't see any reason to be getting long or short right in there uh, without some kind of trap and you don't have that there of course it runs back up here um, there's a channel here I didn't uh, we had an overshoot but it looks like we're still trying to get a retest and notice you get the break and you do move up to a new high you get a lower high here it looks congested then you try to go higher again I would say you might attempt to get short there but but it just gaps over and keeps going so I doubt you get filled on that I mean you could mark you could argue for that to be green comes back here you get a first entry then a second entry and of course that signal bar is not good enough for a second entry but this is basically all a new high up here so a first entry second entry you can clearly see the two legs down failed second entry long if it breaks lower there maybe you go short and drops on down bounces you get a close outside move to a new high and it actually breaks higher and turns down you can trade that on the engulfing bar or wait and go short right there either one you can see that resistance back across there and that took us into 230 it's not a great trading day. I mean, all this mixed trading here, you can get chopped up in this easy. I marked a few of them uh, red, but because uh, we still had this big downward bias from this, and we, especially when we couldn't even get back to the midline, it tells you the market's weak, and it was weak right up until three o'clock when boom, it rockets to the rockets back up to the highs. So, yeah, you know, this is a difficult trading day. Not easy. But you can find a couple of trades in there. You should be able to. Uh, we did have this news item today, but this is just the Fed uh, speaking. And you don't know when he's going to say something or if he's going to say anything or what. So you can't really trade that. or There's no sense in really trying to get flat on that. Uh, because it's doubtful he's going to come right out at 830 and say, hey, we're raising rates. He's going to talk a bit and lead into what he's talking about. And so sure, something could come out that could rally the market maybe that's why we got these two legs up then you know like always it almost takes it all back in just a few minutes and we, then we reset and that's probably what happened uh, but there it is that's how I saw it today uh, just a range day uh, two big legs up a big bearish leg down and then a rally late into the close so I'm not going to hang around and beat around the bush here. I'm going to wrap this one up. Hope you had a good trading day. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, so to wrap up our week. Believe it or not, this week went by pretty fast. But uh, I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.